Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I have a brand new uh, wireless portable game controller for your Android devices, yes, including the Pixel. This is the Rig Portable Precision MX, sorry, MG-X. Now this is from uh, Nakon. They make some really good controllers for your consoles, and this is no exception. This is also Xbox certified or designed for the Xbox. So this will play your Xbox streaming games pretty well. That, now this retails for $79.99. And this is the controller right here. Now, this controller of course has offset thumbsticks. You do have your Xbox button here, your D-pad, which actually feels pretty comfortable. You can see the D-pad. And then we've got our YBXA buttons on top, uh, uh, two extra Xbox buttons. Then we have our triggers, which actually, you see, they've got some they've got some sensitivity to them. The shoulder buttons, and uh, right below here, we have our Bluetooth button, and then we have USB Type C to charge. Now, the reason I like this is because it just slides open, and it fits pretty much any device. And you can see how wide it opens up to. So, we take for instance our Galaxy S uh, twenty one Ultra here. Go ahead, boom, slide it fits. As you can see, it fits, it's comfortable, doesn't slide down. There's actually a lot of space here to move through, so there's a lot there this could actually work with. Now, how about the Pixel? Now, one of the biggest complaints about the Pixel is that the Pixel had issues with the camera hump, and that, of course, didn't allow for a lot of controllers to work with the Pixel. So. Let's go ahead and try this out. And uh, we have, of course, Xbox Game Pass already on there. Uh, one of the cool things about this, it also has this bottom lip here, which allows, doesn't allow the, your, your device to slide down. So it stays firm. So we're gonna put this in, boom. Look at that. This is the first controller that I've seen that has worked for the Pixel. See, the camera hump does not interfere right there. So it works out pretty well. And because I'm connected via Bluetooth, I am good. So now I can go ahead, cycle through, select a game and start playing. So let's go ahead, jump into Forza quickly again, because you know, that's something I can easily jump into play. And uh, you see how well this works. Again, you can see that lip keeps it protected. It's easy and uh, pretty straightforward. So as you can see, in some Forza Horizon 5, driving nighttime, controller works very, very well. Very responsive. I do like the oh, thumbsticks. I am just crashing everywhere. Focus, focus. But yeah, you get the idea. It works well, especially on a device like the Pixel. Um, this will also work well in your Android games, so you're not limited to this. Let's go check out uh, something quickly here on Android. So looking at games like PUBG Mobile on your Android device or um, Call of Duty Mobile, because there is no screen mapping app, this controller doesn't work with that. This will work well with your Xbox games, your Stadia games, things like that, but this will not work with um, games like PUBG Mobile. So um, that is the downside of this controller. That being said though, it's still a solid controller. I do like it. If you're looking to play more streaming games on your Xbox or on Stadia, then this is the controller for you. It works pretty well for those. As you can see with Stadia, as I jump in, I already have access and I can go ahead and start playing. So let me know what you guys think and what uh, other game controllers you would like me to check out. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. The banished really want to protect their fuel silos. Clearly. So what are you going to do about it? Disappoint them. Nice. You need to manually raise each silence. 